Hi everyone, welcome to Sense with Singh. So this list has been asked a number of times. So let's dive right into it. Right, so these are going to be my top 10 most complimented fragrance of all time. Some of these fragrances you may be very aware of, some of these maybe not. But let's start with number 10. At number 10, we have Eros. This is my second bottle of Eros. There is not going to be a third, of course. <laughs> I feel this fragrance has now gone obsolete. But whenever I have worn this fragrance, I have gotten noticed and a couple of compliments as well. A very fresh, minty, apple, citrus fragrance. Uh, although it has been labeled as a party fragrance, oh my god, no, this is not a party fragrance for me. For me, I wear this in any casual settings or even if I'm just sitting out, uh, you know, going with my friends anywhere, not to party. I have worn this fragrance a number of times to the office as well and this has been very well received. So at number 10, Eros. So the next fragrance will always make my list. At number 9, I have Allurum Sport Eo Extreme. So this is the fragrance that I haven't worn much, but whenever I have worn it, it has gotten me compliments. Very nice Tonka Vanilla combination with a citrus backing. It's slightly, slightly sweet, slightly sharp, but the Tonka bean gives it a very good volume. I love this fragrance. And it is, it is actually one very sensually good citrus fragrance. There are not many of those. So at number 8, I have a fragrance which I had a 50ml bottle but I went on for a 100ml bottle later on. I use it very sparingly and it is called Givenchy's Pie. So this is another nice amber tonka fragrance. Most One of the most beautiful bottles that there is. Look at that juice color. Bye. Ah, that tonka almond nutty kind of a thing with the sweet amber in the bag. This is so, so beautiful. I love this fragrance. Love this fragrance. And it has gotten me noticed a number of times. I chose to choose to wear this fragrance in, in winters, uh, in a more colder setting. But, guess the job done. So at number 7, we have a fragrance which is not well known in the fragrance community. I recommended this fragrance to a number of people and they ended up getting a bottle of it. So at number 7, we have Country Road by Skin. This, oh, this is just so good. Uh, even though a new bottle has come out with the same name by the same brand, I am not sure if the composition is different or not. Oh, this is an apple oak moss combination. The country road name is so very well uh, chosen. This is fresh, this is uh, slightly sweet, uh, the oak moss is there, there's a hint of a musky tone as well. But overall this lasts beautifully on your skin. It becomes citrus as it dries down, there is a lemon note that reveals itself later on in the composition. One of the most beautiful dry downs in the fragrance, uh, you know, any fragrance that I have experienced. So we have Country Road at number seven. So at number six is a very special fragrance. I received a 5ml sample of it. Actually, I bought a 5ml sample of it, but my wife liked it so much that I had to buy a 30ml. And there is going to be a 50ml of this as well when I'm done with this or maybe sooner. So this is Nile to Milky Way by Mridul. Uh, Chopra. Mithul Chopra is an Indian perfumer. I have covered his brand uh, in a dedicated video. So that is enough. This one spray is going to last on this tester for at least 72 hours. Beat that. The most sweetest velvety and powdery at the same time gorgeously sensual rose. Wait a second. What are the notes that it says? It says amber, raspberry, leather, musk, pink rose, cashmere. So I would agree with raspberry 
and pink rose the musk and cashmere and yes amber and leather not that prominent on uh, on my senses but the rose is just gorgeous to die for i hardly say this 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 fragrance is to die for and i tell you this is this is an outdoor filler can you beat that outdoor filler it has such massive projection 12 to 14 feet in an outdoor setting that is what i have experienced from it so nile to milky way by mrithul chopra i have at number 6 at number 5 comes a gourmand fragrance i love gourmand fragrances and this happens to be one of the the best that there is in my opinion this happens to be tom ford's on extreme so tom ford's noir extreme is quite unique it is uh, famous for a note of kulfi i don't know what kulfi uh, did the tom ford people have but that is not a kulfi note in here gourmand yes a sweet floral gourmand kind of a feel here and this is another fragrance that will get you noticed that will fill up a room when you walk in super performer super good fragrance very uh, essential gourmand i can say so tom ford's noir extreme i have at number 5 so what i have at number 4 is not actually my first choice uh i'll tell you why but this one gets more love then it's original this is a flanker so this happens to be uh chanel's uh, platinum egoist uh my preference is always the original one this uh, i'll tell you why so at number 4 platinum egoist it's not a sprayer it's a shower green hint of sweetness very vintage very proper 90s feel in it, in here some of you uh, who are of my age around the 30 year mark will smell this fragrance and be reminded of their dads this is mature this is green and this gets more compliments than the original original one is a bit more strong in lavender a bit more sharp citrus uh but let me try the tobacco here is more prominent i think than it is there in platinum but platinum gets more compliments than egoist itself in my case at least so that is at number 4 chanel's platinum egoist so at number 3 is a fragrance which is loved absolutely loved respected and in given even it is considered niche quality borderline niche i am talking about your arms intense so this is quite an old bottle this is a treasure that i have i use it very sparingly just look at that i have finished one bottle i'm not going to finish this one no not at all but just look at the juice that i have used it very sparingly used right so let's spray this Oh, that lipsticky iris! So unique, so beautiful. A floral, woody uh, fragrance here, based around the iris note. So well done, and this is literally, this is literally the badass man in the room. I mean, I know egoist is pretty good. but this one right here is even better i love this fragrance and it is loved by one and all fragrance lover or not dior homme intense will get you noticed will get you compliments so at number 2 i have something which is very loved by the ladies it is called terre de hermes a citrus whatever which is loved by so many people more women than men a very happy citrus whatever which is very mature it's very elegant uh this is at number 2 because it gets a lot of compliments also at number 2 because this is my second go to choice for a serious professional affair like a business meeting or a client uh, consultation something like that i would pick this or the number 1 fragrance so let me take you to number 1 
Right, so at number one, I have the most complimented fragrance. It also happens to be my favorite fragrance DNA. It is Tobacco Vanilla by Niche. So this fragrance right here, and this goes down the skin, you know, give that honor. <laughs> so this fragrance is beautiful. It has a vanilla, it has spices, it has a tobacco, which is not that dominant, but more of a vanilla fragrance, vanilla and spices blend here. Just a good, good layer of tobacco in the back. This fragrance I absolutely love. This is my most complimentary fragrance ever. Let me show you something. Just a sec. Right, so this is actually my second bottle. I have used up a bottle. This is my backup bottle number one. This is my backup bottle number two. And this is my backup bottle number three. I will never run out of this fragrance. I love this fragrance so much. It has been loved around me even more. I love this fragrance DNA. That go tobacco gourmand vibe. It is beautiful. It is elegant. Very rich and sophisticated. So if you're looking for a uh, fragrance uh, professionally, which is just boss level, is the answer. Tobacco Vanilla by Niche. So thank you so much everyone for watching this video. Here it has been fun doing this list. I think I'll be doing more lists in the future. And uh, I'll be introducing you to more fragrances of my choice. Uh, once again, uh, I am very thankful to people who have subscribed to my channel who show me constant love and support. And the ones who haven't, I request you to please support my channel, like it, subscribe it. I'm also there on Instagram. You can connect with me there. I will leave the links not just my Instagram link in the description, but many more links in the description for you to explore. So till the next time, thank you so much and I will see you soon.